Sheets number six is about uh, some weather data and a combo chart. You will have this handout linked up on Google Classroom. You'll be able to access this on Google Classroom. Um, tells you how to get started. Um, there, I'll make a link to the website that you're going to use uh, on Google Classroom, and, and that, it's going to get you to U.S. climate data, and uh, so you can get there from there. Um, uh, got, yeah, I'll just show you how to do this, right? We're going to make a combo chart out of some weather data, and it's all on the handout here. There are some customizations that I'm going to ask you to do. Um, let's see, what else do you have? You'll have uh, a link to this spreadsheet, um, and you'll have a link to this website. All right, so those are all the things you're going to need. So what I'm going to ask you to do on the website, once you get to the U.S. Climate Data website here, we're going to, we'll, we'll be at the home page, which kind of reads your location, and it's, it's saying up here, Indianapolis Eagle Creek Air Park. So it's an Indianapolis kind of thing. Um, but you don't have to do the, the temperature data. We're going to use temperature data here. You don't have to do it for Indianapolis, Indiana. You could do this if you want. You can pick any city you want. If you click on this link that says United States and then you float over a state, right? Pick whatever you like. You want to go to Texas? Do that. And then these are all cities in Texas. All right. Uh, or, you know, you do I, you want to do Pennsylvania? Great. Pick a city in Pennsylvania. So if you want to do something in Indiana, you could click on Indiana and, um, boy, you know, on their old version of this site, uh, they didn't have Plainfield. Have they added Plainfield? No. <clears throat> I guess we're too close to Indianapolis is the problem. So there are several cities in Indiana, or you could do some other state. Right? You can do kind of whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to pick something. I'll go to Tennessee. And let's see. Um, I might look for... Oh, I don't know. I'll just pick something in Tennessee. I'll go to Lookout Mountain. Okay? I'm going to use Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. Boom. And that's going to show me some data here. It's going to have some temperatures for January, February, March, April, May, June, all the way through the year. All right, so here's what we got to do. First of all, back here on my sheet, I'm doing Lookout Mountain, uh, comma, T-E-N-N-E-S-S-E-E. -S -S -E -E. I'm doing Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. That's my city. All right, so here, first of all, on row eight, I want to get average low temperatures for the whole year. You see how it's set up. Average lows for January, February, March. So I'll go back to my climate data, average low. And what I'm going to do is this. Uh, I'll do, get, get like six at a time. If you drag across on uh, the average low on those numbers, just click and drag across, and then copy, Control-C, and I come over here to my spreadsheet, and I paste, look, now it may kind of format the numbers in there a certain way, like it put in a black background and the numbers have a color on it. Well, I'll change all that in a minute, right? Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go back, I'm still doing average lows, so I want July, August, September, October, November, December. All right, so I'm gonna drag and get the July, August, September, October, November, December, copy those. Let's bring those over. I'm in the July spot, so I'll paste those in and they came out, they look different, but that's okay. Um, now let's get the average highs. Okay, so back over to my tab with my climate data. Average high, here's uh, January, February, March. Okay, boop, I got those first six. Copy those, and I'm gonna paste them in. And I'll go to the July spot right here, and I'm gonna get the average high temperatures for July, August, all the way through December. We'll copy those. Control C, we'll paste those, Control V. And now I'm just gonna, I just wanna make sure that like this is all formatted the same. Uh, I'll make all the text colors the same and align them all the same and all that kind of stuff. All right. And you know what you could? I mean, you wanna do what we did yesterday? Alternating colors, boom. Uh, done, boom, all right, yay. There we go. So that is, that's the first step, right? I use this uh, US Climate Data website 
uh, to gather some information about average high and average low. I had to do some copying and pasting and I got it copied and pasted in here. I'm doing Lookout Mountain, Tennessee and it's all set. Now it's time to build our chart. So I'm going, to, I'm going to click at A7 and drag over to M9. I'm going to select the whole thing. Select all of it. And I'm going to do Insert Chart. There's also a Chart button on the toolbar if you would prefer. And now it's coming up here with a line chart and that's not what we want today. Today we are going to do a combo chart and it's probably sitting right under your line chart there's line chart column chart area chart we're gonna do a combo chart this is what I want today gotta to do a combo chart alright this is what is assigned so when you on the chart type it's gonna be a combo chart cool alright well now what we've got is um, now we just kinda of get into customizing Right, we're going to work on, and I do want you to make some customizations on this. And there are certain things, like I said, on the handout, if you pay some attention to the handout, um, there are certain things that are required. Like uh, one of the required things is a background color and border color. Okay, well, so let's go to customize and let's go to chart style. And it is required of you today to change the background color, change it to whatever you like. And there's um, you know you can do custom colors uh, you can get down here and you got a color picker and uh, gosh you can uh, you can you can do it however you want so I'm gonna make it kind of an orange thing and the the um, border color I'm gonna it's a darker orange I wish they had a, a set a way to to make the border thicker but they don't seem to I haven't found it yet so anyway so that's uh, that's two of the things that are um, on the required parts of the you know you got to change the background color and the the chart border color so I'm going to go ahead and close that the next required thing <coughs> excuse me is that we um, I'm going to open the chart style I mean I'm going to open the chart and access titles and we're going to make the title include your city okay so let's go back over there and uh, right now the chart title says average low and average high and that's not terrible but but I want it today this is an assignment right I want it to include the city that you're doing so I'm gonna have to say something like temps for uh, Lookout Mountain Tennessee and I don't know if it, yeah it's fitting all that in there all right and then once you have that title on there if you would like to change the I mean you can change the title font if you want to I'm not sure I'm gonna go with I like Verdana I'll go with that um, text color do you want to change the text color I don't think I want red on that orange but I might go with a dark blue on that orange that looks fairly decent make it bold maybe all right so I played around with the chart title that is one of the required uh, customizations all right so now we can close that menu that I'm looking at there we'll spin that up and the next thing comes into this it's in the series menu I'm going to open the series menu and I want to set the selector to apply all series all right so right over here apply all series and we're going to put data labels Ow. all right so I want you to do that and if you'll look at my chart you'll see that now the numbers the actual numbers of the temperatures have been placed on the bars and on the line and and so that is good okay so the data data labels are on there check the box for data labels look at the directions all right now I'm gonna take that series selector and put it on average low watch what that looks like where it says apply to all series I'm gonna switch that and I'll make average low and what we're gonna do there is just choose another color and it's not that I'm against blue there's nothing I don't have anything against blue but I do want this I, I want you to get in there and make changes to the the like the colors and the way that um, uh, Google Sheets sets it up just like automatically so uh, on the series thing I switched from apply to all series to average low and I made it yellow okay cool right now for average high I'm gonna switch this part up here where it's a series and right below that I'm gonna go to average high and that has to be something besides orange right we have to change this my rule of the day 
I'm a mean old guy making an assignment. All right, so you got to change this. I think I'll go with like a dark. I'm going to go like with black there. I want that black. And um, I might. I think I like the solid line, but I might make it a little thicker, a little thicker line. Um, you could do, put some points on there. You want like some some data points on there. Maybe I'll make those data points a little bigger. All right, so you see what I'm getting there? I put stars on my data points right where the numbers are, right? So there, there's that, right? Okay, we're almost done. Look at us go. Look at us go. Um, in fact, look, really, we are done because I just did the average high and I chose a color other than the default color. Now, you can you can customize other things if you want. If you want to play around with this some more, and like I'm going to close the series, and there's there's things like legend and horizontal axis and vertical axis and grid lines, and, you know, if you want to get in there and play with stuff, play with stuff. I don't think you're going to hurt anything. Um... I'll throw in some minor grid lines, all right, just for fun. Okay, so really that's pretty much done. Now here's one other thing that I wanted to show you that you can do if you wish. Right now, this chart is kind of a floating object on this sheet, which is totally fine. You know, if you if you want to park it like over here, you want to park it like over here, that's great. Or in the, the little three, when you click on the chart and you got the little three dot menu, there is an option that says move to own sheet. Now here's what that does. If I click it, whoa my goodness, I get a much bigger version of the chart because here's the deal. Down on the bottom left, there's gonna be these tabs and it says sheet one down here, that's where our numbers are. And then it says chart one over here, that's where it made this big copy of the chart. And so if you would like to have like a big full screen copy of the chart, well, that's an option. You could do it if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, you could, if I were to like undo that, I did a control Z undo, uh, you could just leave it floating here. All right, so that's, that's it. That's the thing of the day right there. We're gonna gather some data about high and low temperatures in a city of your choice. I did look out Mountain Tennessee. You're gonna to have to build this combo chart, and yes, it has to be a combo chart. And there are certain uh, customizations that are required today. You might wanna pull up that handout and just make sure that you get the, you know, the right customizations that are part of the assignment, and they kinda of have to be there to get the points. Well, all right, end of movie, end of, de end of demo. It is your turn.